Hey guys, my name is Ed and this is another video. I'm revisiting my 486 laptop because I've finally been able to get the right drivers and get my external CD-ROM drive working with it. I have made a video of this laptop before. I'll put a link up in the top right hand corner. This is a nice little 486. Now that I've got my CD-ROM drive working with it, I can install much more games onto this. The only downside is that it doesn't have a sound card, so no way to get any sound unfortunately. The CD-ROM drive that I am using is this really useful backpack external CD-ROM drive which has multiple methods of connecting to my old retro PCs. The way that I'm going to be using it today is through the PCM CIA port using this card which connects into the back very easily just like that. It also connects via a parallel port but for some reason this laptop didn't want to pick it up so it might be that the parallel port has an issue on this laptop. Stay to the end and we'll see if we can get some of these games working. I've already installed the drivers for this CD-ROM drive. So now that I've plugged in the power for the CD-ROM and have uh, plugged the card in, let's have a look if it's picked up the CD-ROM drive. And it has. Easy peasy. That's it. All right, let's have a look at some games. So I'm going to try this old Chess Master game, which I love this box. It's got a really nice gatefold. I remember playing this game, it came with my PC back in the day as bundled software. I never had the box, look at this. Really nice. A bit tricky to do one handed. Wow, there you go, straight away. This is a 500 megabyte hard drive, I think. We're about 200 megs free, so let's go for the complete install. I do find sometimes when it's transferring data across the um, across the card from this external uh, CD-ROM drive, especially with my other 486 when it's going over the parallel port, it would take a bit of time. It's not um, the fastest data transfer, I don't think. But hey, for a laptop like this that doesn't have anything apart from a floppy drive, this is very useful. I think it's potentially installing sounds, which is a bit of a waste on this laptop because we don't have a sound card. <laughs> I gotta restart. Oh dear. Let's see. Let's hope Windows 95 comes back. Guys, this is a long, long effort to get a chess game running. Alright. Register for free fonts. Let's skip that. Let's go straight into Chessmaster 5000. Hey. Skip all of that. Oh, all right, this brings me back. Oh, come over the king. It's difficult with this poor mouse. Install the game through the external CD-ROM. One to four eight six seems to be running very nicely. How about let's try something different? This one's one of my all-time favorites, Grand Prix. Jeff Crammond. Got the CD here. Let's give it a shot. Installer. Hear the CD ROM spinning up. I'm gonna select here the PC speaker, but actually this laptop doesn't even have the PC speaker in there. running straight from the CD. This is a shame because this is quite a nice little laptop. That's little 486 but because it doesn't have any sound it kind of really restricts what you can do with it. Now there are ad-lib 
cards that you can buy now that can plug into your printer port. Um, I'm tempted to give it a shot, but I'm a little bit worried just because the parallel port didn't want to work with the CD-ROM drive, so I'm just not sure if there's something wrong with that port before I drop $100 on an ad-lib card that fits into that. Alright. Good old Carlos Sanchez, who I think was meant to be Ayrton Senna. You just hear the CD-ROM drive just spinning. Alright. Just overtake these guys into the first corner. I'll try to. Whoa. Seems a bit jerky, doesn't seem to play that smoothly. Maybe if I installed it to the hard drive it'll be a bit better. Also, I've got the auto brakes on as well, which is kind of slowing me down. All right, now I'll quit out of there. That was it, really, just a quick video showing off this nice little versatile CD ROM drive. Coming back to using this little 486 laptop that I haven't used in a while. Anyway, I hope you like that little video. If you've got any questions about this CD-ROM drive, um, put them in the comments. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye.